a judge has ordered armed gunmen away from ballot drop boxes, but not all the way away. Just 250 feet away, you're allowed to intimidate at ballot drop boxes in Arizona as long as you do it from 250 feet away. If you have been following this story as we have, we started to see armed. What do we call them? They're armed. So they are gunmen. Is it a militia? I I don't know. Not really armed people claiming to be poll watchers showing up in and around ballot drop boxes in Arizona. In some cases, we have video of confrontations with people just dropping off ballots. Of course, immediately um, uh, the courts were brought into this and HuffPost uh, and the Associated Press now report judge orders armed group away from Arizona ballot drop boxes. Local and federal law enforcement have been alarmed by reports of people, some armed watching 24 hour ballot boxes in two counties. And a federal judge yesterday ordered the armed members of this group to stay at least 250 feet away from the locations following complaints that people wearing masks, all of a sudden they want to wear masks and carrying guns were intimidating voters. Wow. U.S. District Court Judge Michael Liberti also said members of Clean Elections USA, its leader and anyone working with them are barred from filming or following anyone within 75 feet of a ballot drop box or the entrance of a building that houses one. They also can't speak to or yell at people within that perimeter unless spoken to first. This is insanity. This is absolute and total insanity. Armed people monitoring drop boxes. It is a dystopian laughingstock, but we kind of laugh to avoid crying, which is really what we should be doing. This is horrible. This is, you know, I don't want to use pejorative terms, third world stuff or whatever. This is completely unbecoming of the United States. And by the way, they can be there. They just have to be 250 feet away. It should have happened sooner and it should be more than 250 feet. Understand that 250 feet in many cases means that they're allowed to be at the entrance at the sort of driveway, what what's the parking lot, I guess is what you would call it at the entrance to the parking lot, to the bit, to the uh, uh, locations of these ballot drop boxes. It doesn't even really change anything. Often you have a couple hundred feet, particularly in Arizona, where things are so spread out in many parts of the state. So instead of seeing them right by the drop box itself, you see the armed people as you're driving in to where you would stop to put your ballots in. Uh, Apparently, the intimidation with guns is okay, and it's free speech as long as you're 250 feet away. Now, there's a real question here. This has had a chilling effect already. Is the court decision too late? Because at the end of the day, they're simply being told you've got to be a little further away and they still might have had the impact that they want to have. But this should scare all of us. And uh, Arizona is the big state in which we've learned about this happening for now. Uh, I am monitoring for stories of it happening in other states. And if you come across any, please do let me know. But this is, you know, uh, the, the, the court is determining whether what is being done violates the letter of the law. What I am more concerned with is that all of this and this dates back to six months before the 2020 election, when they started to hint that if we lose, it's rigged and the mail in ballots are fraud and all this different stuff, the the spirit of what it should be to have an election in the United States of America has, of course, been violated by all of this nonsense going all the way back. Let me know what you think. Find me on Twitter at D Pacman. We'll take a very quick break and be right back. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click the subscribe button below or above or wherever it is on your screen. And if you want to support my work even more strongly, the best way is to get a membership at joinpacman.com and subscribe to the podcast for The David Pacman Show. There you can check out interviews, longer clips and much more. It's on all the big podcasting platforms. Just search for The David Pakman Show, and all the links are also down below in the video description.